Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Diana Wilson, participant in the Glasgow Jewish Representative Council, Scottish Jewish Archives, Faith in Older People and Interfaith Organisation. Thank you, Presiding Officer, for the opportunity to take, to take part in Time for Reflection. The last time I addressed this Parliament was in 2003, when I was an active retired woman in my mid-60s. Now I'm an active older woman in my late 70s. So when do I become elderly? Will I be invited back when I'm 90? As a trustee of Faith in Older People for the last few years, I have been able to reflect on the needs of older people beyond the physical dimension. The spiritual aspect of their lives becomes more compelling as they come face to face with their impending mortality. In the Jewish scriptures, there is a commandment to honour the elderly, no matter their contribution to society. High profile elderly people command much respect. Her Majesty the Queen is approaching her 90th birthday. We remember Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa and others. But what about ordinary people whose achievements are unknown and unrecognised except by their families and their communities? They often become just a name above a hospital bed. My late mother embodied her own philosophy for life, which was, you have to be a good person. Few people in Scotland will know of her good deeds, nor those of many other remarkable older people throughout our country. In 1998, a book of photographs taken in a Marie Curie hospice by Colin Dixon was called Remaining Human. In his preface, he said that he had taken the photographs to show that faced with the prospect of death, most people remain completely human. He said, until you are dead, you're still alive. Their lives are still going on and they can laugh and be sad and be generous and be cruel. In other words, people just like other people. Those observations could apply equally to the elderly. Through my involvement with Scottish Jewish Archives, I have had the privilege of interviewing older members of our community. I have learned of the challenges they faced growing up during the war, their service to our country, both in wartime and in peace. It is so important to hear their voices and experiences and their contribution to the Scottish story. I will finish by quoting Rabbi Beryl Wine. May we all be blessed to come to the fullness of our lives with all our days attached to us in serenity and achievement. Thank you. We now have the topical questions.